Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a car and you need to remove or replace connecting rod. Stay with us, we will explain how to do that, what needs to be done uh, and uh, what to expect. It will require quite a bit of work on some engines. It's pretty easy compared to other ones so we want to explain what to expect before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you now if you need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from guys so let's explain now what needs to be done to remove and replace connecting rod on a car okay we have one right here and we have one that's broken okay you can see this one is practically in pieces guys so let's cover now how to do that most cars guys okay older cars it used to be pretty simple forward but some are really complicated and that's where we're going to explain on that engine today uh, cars nowadays some of them have direct fuel injection okay also they have variable timing from there guys okay they actually have counterbalance shaft so it can make uh, the engine runs nice and smooth and without uh, the count counterbalance shaft you will have more vibrations and not so smooth engine like back in the day you know for instance bmw six cylinder engines they're super smooth but the new four cylinder engines four cylinder is not so balanced so they use counter shafts and specifically that hyundai engine that we have here it has a counterbalance shaft that's part of the oil pump as well you can see it has weights okay that move counterbalance to the vibration that will be causing by the engine so it can make it nice and smooth but back in the day okay and some easy engines that are not so complicated all we have to do remove the oil pan once you remove the oil pan you might need to remove the oil pump screen on the bottom which is super easy usually one or two bolts once you remove that one you can access okay the connecting rods and in that case all you have to do is remove the cylinder head once you remove the cylinder head you will be able to actually guys okay uh, pull the connecting rod and the piston okay uh, up that's why you need to pull the cylinder head okay up, off the engine and that piston and connecting rod will come out and later all we have to do is separate the two and replace it okay now uh, i accidentally dropped okay a piece of the connecting rod here now let's explain something else what if you have a new modern engine the one with the counterbalance shaft you will need to remove most of the times timing chain when you remove the timing chain you need to take the timing cover apart timing chain kits counterbalance shaft that's often part with the oil pump that needs to come out and even though we do that okay on that engine specifically we're practically okay not able to uh, to uh, let me see if i can uh, move that thing here okay i want to actually show you okay let me get that container uh, even though we have everything removed underneath okay uh, you will still okay not be able to do that okay due to the fact that the crankcase on the bottom doesn't let you access uh, connecting rod and piston on cylinder number four for instance okay you can see those are the holes here that we have for cylinder uh, one two three and cylinder number four is towards the transmission so uh, if you guys have okay if you have engine block that consists of two parts okay like this one here you can see it has two parts upper and lower you will need to take the bulk apart in order to get to all connecting rods but in order to do that guys okay in order to do that what you will have to do actually uh, you will need to separate the engine from the transmission then take everything apart and you'll be able to get to the main bearings as well and you can see you can access the bolts too if you need to replace anything like crankshaft but uh, for cylinder number four on this engine you have to okay practically take it apart so it's pretty complicated it can cost you quite a bit of money if you're doing it yourself not so much but still you will need to tear tear apart practically the whole engine you have the blocking pieces timing everything needs to come out on modern cars cylinder heads so that will involve quite a bit of work now if you want to see how to separate the two we have a video that explains how to separate piston and connecting rod it will explain step by step that if you have any questions let us know don't hesitate we'll try to make a video if we have time for your specific problem guys so uh, thank you for watching thank you for liking the video and see you guys next time